Hello, my name is Sharif, and today Michael will be talking about FICOs and technology. Here's Alexis, Karen, and Sonia, and I'm going to give it off to Alexis. Alright, I'm going to be explaining what Julia sets are. So, this French mathematician, Gaston Julia, said that you can take any simple equation and plug in a bunch of random numbers. So let's say we take we plug in one for x. One squared, one, one plus one, two. So our y is two, one. And whatever your outcome is, outcome is, which is our y, two would be plugged in for x, which would be so two. So your y is now 5, and this was 2. And these are called Julia sets. And these go, and they repeat each other continuously, on and on. And then Mandelbrot sets are basically the same things, but they're also plugged into the computer. Because you can, conti you can continue this, but it'll just take forever. It'll be like 26, and then square that and you, no one can do that by hand, so they did metal rock sets to put it into the computer. I'll be talking about Mandel Rock, actually. Uh, fractals and movies, basically. Uh, so he wrote the book called Fractals, Form, Chance, and Dimensions in 1977, which uh, Lauren Carpenter actually read in 1978. But we'll get back into him a little later. Uh, so Mandel Rock created the word fractal. This was used to define shapes that were jagged and broken. He said you can create uh, a fractal by taking any shape and breaking it into pieces repeatedly. So, back to Lauren Carpenter. He decided to try this on his computer. And within three days, he was able to produce uh, pictures of mountains on his computer. He changed, uh, in my opinion, he changed the game in the graphic community, uh, computer. Graphic computer. Anyway, sorry. Uh, he changed the name of the graphic computer community by being able to implement this fractal onto his computer. Later on, I will show videos on how he did that and show you how it developed with the years. Uh, so he later on uh, quit his job at Boeing because his mountains kind of changed the way graphic arts was going. So he quit his job. He later on joined Lucasfilm, where he uh, created a whole new planet for Star Trek, which I will also show a clip on how he did that. Uh, and it was the first ever completed computer generated sequence in a featured film, which was made possible by the new mathematical of fractal geometry. Next slide. So I have two videos. I won't be playing. Oh, so. Sure. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy 2017. As you see, this is using fractals by uh, a bunch of dots and somehow turned into 3D. This is like a little, uh, I haven't watched the movie, but I'm pretty sure it is a scene from, it is a scene from the movie. Pretty interesting how they were able to do this. It's freezing, but maybe you can exit. Thank you.
So I'll be talking about fractals used in video games, and the short clip we'll be talking about um, fractal triangles, uh, also called as surf uh, sur density triangles. So what he's trying to explain is how like triangles. Mm -hmm. okay. So these are Szczepanski triangles, and uh, inside the triangles you'll see like uh, mini triangles that repeat. So you'll find the midpoint for each triangle and connect them to get another triangle, and <coughs> keeps on repeating over and over. And in this part, he's trying to find out the area for the triangle. So he starts off with uh, A1, which is the whole triangle. shapes 
and um, he did it with the, a wire, and then he ended up connecting it with a cable and a, a hand radio, and it and it worked. So um, he said using the fractal design, it, it enabled him to receive a much wider range of frequency. And why? Why how? Why that works? Basically, is the result to that was the mathematic theorem that showed if you want to get something that work as an antenna with wide uh, frequency, you need to have self sim uh, self similarity. Um, it had to be a fractal shape to make to have it work. Um, so everyone. Everyone has a phone here, right? So yeah. the chip, the fractal chip, is in your phone. That's how it's uh, giving signals to um, to satellites and all that and all that stuff. So the chip, the chip itself, similar design to uh, maximize the effect length or increase the perimeter uh, of material that can receive or transmit electromagnetic, uh, electromagnetic a radiation with a given total surface area or volume, so it's um, giving the magnetic to the satellite and um, your antenna. So, yeah. Any questions?